Hello, and welcome back to Avernus. We are done with, like, what would it be? Two thirds of the game? Three quarters of the game? Depending on how how far the final part goes. If it's more than just like a final boss fight, if there's, there's an entire world, then maybe there's quite a lot. But yeah, we've completed the gardens. We got our new upgrade, which lags the game. What was it? Like, that? <laughs> yeah, just, just a stutter every time. Not the greatest. But we can go back into the archives and, well, we'll see what happens here. The gardens were overall not too bad, actually. Like, unexpectedly not too bad in the sense that, like, the monsters weren't Awful. No annoying mechanics or uh, poison or whatever else. Oh, what is happening here? And we got shortcuts again. Shortcut doors. I don't know what that purple stuff is. And there's two ways out. Hi. Oh, that's the wrong button. I thought I was charging my, uh, my thing. Wow, what the hell? Okay, I mean, that's the backstab damage. That's a lot of damage. Yeah, I guess I should just backstab these dudes. And we got pots again, so that's like an easy way to refill. I'm not even, not even, ah, not even going to smash them. Hi, that's a new thing. Slugs? Electro slugs. Well, they don't seem too bad if it's just don't get near them and then they do nothing. And they don't even blow up when you kill them. Damn it! I want to want to get a shield. Okay, so what's this? Waste of skin. For those who betray the Legion, death is too lenient of a punishment. Instead, they are morphed into disgusting piles of sentient waste, a living depository of energy and knowledge. This lamentable thing is not worth our time. Wastes of skin take greatly increased damage. So you could just ignore them, basically. I guess they're not really meant to be, like, threatening, but they do take quite a while to kill. I wonder if it's faster to just do, like, a quick charge. Since we can crit... Wait, hold on. Let's see if I can get... Why? Why? Oh, it's because I dash in, I get the shield, and then it's immediately removed? Oh no, I just didn't kill it that time. Never mind. Might as well heal up. Might as well pot up. Yeah, here we go. Archives has a lot of like, whatever that was called, ambrosia in the pots and benches. And that's just, we're just back. And there was nothing else? Yeah, we could go onward here. Let me just check the other path. Is that just gonna have more shortcut doors or something? Or is that also a path? Yeah, shortcut door. And... Well, there's some dudes. Yep, these are very easy to kill now. But only the red ones, right? Like, the other ones won't take increased backstab damage. So 
So there is another way to go here. Annoying that that, like... Oh no, it does kill them. But there's some, like, variants. Yeah, sometimes they might survive on, like, 1 HP. It looks really cool, so far. I don't know if this is a shortcut door, or what. Oh, that's a new dude. Purple dude. Burst fire rifles. Oh, okay, he can burst a lot of times. Enthralled servants. For ages, the Legion has scouted the stars for the relics of dead gods. As such, there are few things the Legion values more than the collection of ancient artifacts and forbidden knowledge. A task entrusted to the Master of Apathy and its servants. These servants have a sliver of their master's arcane power. Find an opening and bring them down. Are you saying it's gonna be a Toho boss? Just bullet hell? Reduce damage. Extra damage from bounce projectiles. I mean, I guess I should do that. I should try the whirlwind when I see one of those dudes. Pretty neat music as well. Shortcut door. Yeah, I guess that's all we can do here. Yeah, we have to activate this somehow, so we do have to go back this way. Ah, can't squeeze past. And this was another shortcut door. How much am I on? Not even close to a level up. It'll be a while. Oh, and you walk slower in the sludge. All right. I guess these are just supposed to show that there's like arcane ness in the air. Shit's magical. Hi. Let's try it. Ah, oh, that doesn't, like, bounce them back? I thought it would, like, return them. But, I mean, that's still a good way to deal with them. Just set up one of these, and then I can just sit here and charge a full shot. That's very good. I don't even think I need a full charge one. Yeah, pretty nice. Oops. Ah. Oh, okay. Or I could just do that. Yeah, I mean, kind of unnecessary. But I guess if there's, like, multiple, then it's probably a good idea. Obviously, shortcut? Really? Okay. Sure. I really dislike going down in this game. Might as well heal up now, and try and get more Ambrosia. Oops. Oh 
Why doesn't that, like, always place the thing in him? The little orb? Oh. Yeah, what's going on? How does that work? Huh? It's like, when I cast again? What's happening with that? Fire a self-attaching orb? Yeah, I don't really need this. So I'll take it anyway. Yeah, like, it's supposed to just fire the orb every time. But why doesn't it attach to him, like, half the time? Fire orb. Orb is gone. And then, like, when I start charging it again, then I, like, call it back? I, I don't understand. I don't know why I bother. I already have a shield. That's not a shortcut door. Ah. See, that was a pretty good time to use that. I wouldn't have had time to actually kill him normally before he shot me. Hi. Ow, that goes through it. I guess I'll take one of these, but then we, we won't go up here yet. Can't go through here. Yeah. Let's hold off on this and check out the other path. I assume I can fall down there and I would just die. Ah, thought I was hearing these guys. I see. Okay, so we only have one way to go. Less of a maze than the uh, gardens. Well, so far. New enemy time, maybe? Uh-huh, so we have to rush through. Ow. What? I couldn't do the spin. Oh, man. There we go. There's a secret wall here. Yeah, that was a pretty obvious one. Kind of wish I could, like, hit this guy with my sword to get Ambrosia back, but I feel like that's a bad idea. Yeah, I don't understand why that orb is so inconsistent. 
It only works like one third of, of the time. I think charging at least one level is definitely the way to go. Oh. Increased damage. How much? That's a lot of damage. Okay. So now they're not really a problem anymore. Okay. Great. By increased damage, they meant like three times the damage. I thought this was an enemy. I'm hearing another secret wall here. Maybe I should, like, leave some of these guys for when you actually need Ambrosia, but they can still hurt you, so I don't really want to take the risk. So so far so good. Not really anything too concerning, but there's probably going to be some new enemy types pretty soon. Yet yeah, speaking of Uh-oh. Um, I guess maybe that's a projection. We have to find the, like, caster. Yeah. Ow. Ow. Did that remove the guy? Let's activate this meanwhile. Ah, so that raises that and opens these doors. Okay. And we can do something in here, I suppose. Oh, yeah, he's, like, vulnerable now. I see. He still has the same attacks, but we can just do this to, like, nullify them entirely. Yeah, this guy doesn't seem too bad. Arcane Warden. Blessed with the burden of arcane knowledge, wardens cipher and collect all bits of information the Legion comes across making sure that their precious relics stay as far away from the Cretan's masses, masses as possible. This task is their privilege and theirs only. Wardens have the power to shield themselves with the essence of others, sever the link, then find the moment to destroy them. Reduce damage. Okay. Alright, nothing like interesting, no like permanent buff to me. Those are always the upgrades that I'm like the most excited about. Can't walk up here. And shortcut door. And it's very like interconnected and like I don't know, tight knit. You don't really have to walk very far. Oh, wait, I just realized something. One second. Gotta change my mute switch again because of Uru.
There we go. Yep, works again. Okay, but let's check over here. Wait, does that say... Because there's a secret wall? Or is there a different path? Oh, speaking of muting, I need to sneeze. Good timing. Might as well heal up at this point, I feel. Yep, exactly. Ah, we can go down here, but there is a secret here as well. Wow, like 500 damage on just a normal, normal hit. I need a shield again, though. Thanks for the shield. This looks dangerous. Like, ambushes can be anywhere here. Might as well heal up that tiny bit. Nice, just two of those. That's a trap. There's gonna be, yeah. Okay, lost my shield, but not too bad. Dark Soul style trap. Sycophants. Or however you. Psychophants? Are we. How you pronounce that? Blinded by reverence. Sycophants, I think it is that. Seek ever deeper self-gratification from the waste of their master, finding comfort in the all-encompassing ignorance it provides. Prone to react with vitriolic hatred when their sacred bile is disturbed. This, this bile? The sharp edge they carry is as deadly from a distance as it is up close. Positioning is key. Good advice. Don't get hit. Movement speed on bile is increased. Nice. Hold on. Sycophant. There you go. I was correct. Oh yeah, that guy was just a new guy. Still not really close. Oh. It's probably up here, I feel. A lot of hidden walls here. Yeah. Oh, it was just that. I guess we should be aware of this when I walk on this place. We might have... Yeah, I see. Right there. No? thought that would be an ambush point. No ambush? This seems like an ambush point. Don't love this. That was kind of bullshit. 
Oh, I didn't have a dash. All right. I don't know where I'm going. I feel like there's a lot of uh, branches I haven't checked now. But I guess we'll keep going here. Oh, I see. I'm just back here. All right. Let's go. Oh. Let's go back this way. So I guess you could have gone either way here. Would really have hoped that there was a, like, stamina regeneration out of combat bonus somewhere. Okay, yeah, I mean, this is an obvious one. What are you talking about? Where's the ambush? You can't just do one Dark Souls style ambush and then set up identical scenarios and have them not be ambushes. It's like not having the giant, giant bug wasp things be poison. It's like they know everyone hates those mechanics and just didn't do it. <laughs> Only the one time. All right, I guess that's it. Now we just go back to this place. Yeah, pretty, uh, pretty straightforward so far. I have not had any of my tea. One second. Yeah, this is not really a tea drinking game. was over here. Kind of risky doing that since they they leap pretty far. Ah. Oh, I thought he hit me. He didn't. Oh yeah, I need to remember to try that thing. The combo into dash. But it is kind of hard to do, but I guess on those dudes it would work. Fight time? No. No fight. By time. Mini boss. Nope. Just an elevator. Mini boss. Elevator. Boss fight. Elevator horde fight. Nothing? Really? This was like perfectly set up to have one of those things where, oh, waves of enemies teleport in as you're traveling down the elevator. They're, like, subverting my expectations all the time. Not going for the, like, tried and true situations and stuff. That is kind of annoying. There's something, like, in the foreground. Yeah, it's, it's a pipe. Why have that here when it just does that? It's, like, flickers past. Oh. Shortcut? Sure. Yeah, now we're just 
back here. First of two shortcuts. This honestly feels very straightforward. I feel like this is kind of supposed to be level two, but I, I guess maybe it gets much harder. There's five levels. But so far, it feels a lot more like it's just easing you into it compared to the gardens. Hi. Oh, wait, I can break this yet. All right, let's see what this guy can do. Yeah, I figured he had something special up his sleeve. Okay. Oh. What was that? There was a slug inside. <laughs> okay. Alright, that's something to keep in mind. Damn it. Seems quiet compared to Hades. Yeah, this game is very, like, quiet and calculated. Or do you just mean, like, the volume that is quiet? I could increase it a little bit, but I feel like Hades has been maybe slightly too loud recently. I don't know if you mean volume or just, like, feel. Just increased it a hair. Oh yeah, like, the sounds are pretty quiet in this game overall. Not a whole lot of fighting. Okay, in that sense, yeah. Yeah, it's very, uh... Very, like, atmospheric in that sense. And kind of slow-paced. It was suffering pretty hard from that, like, before. Okay, volume was fine, but the game feel is quiet. Yeah, all right, let me just set that back then. Not that it made a big difference, I just increased it by like 10%. But yeah, it is a very like quiet and methodical game. And during the first level, I felt like it was getting a little, it was dragging on a little bit. But I have been enjoying these levels a lot more. Ah. We got another secret wall somewhere. I thought. No. Doesn't really feel like it has the tension that you would get in DS Dark Souls. Even outside combat. Wonder if the calming music is part of that. Yeah, maybe. Like, it's it's more of a, like, sinister, weird feel to it than, like, tense, I guess. The bosses seem to be very tough. Some of them are. Like, it's kind of... The bird boss, the second boss, was very hard. The first one was not bad at all, and the third one was kind of, like, a little too easy. That doesn't seem to do anything. I don't really understand that, like, that slide attack. I'm not sure I would even compare this game in many ways to Dark Souls. Doesn't really have the same feel, in my opinion. Are we somewhere I've been? No? You remember the bird boss? Have you played this game? Or do you mean from my streams? Oh, and this is back... Back here. I see.
There is something here, as if we can open this, but... I guess not yet. From my stream, I see, yeah. Yeah, the bird boss was kind of rough. Surprised we're not seeing more of those ambushes from sword dudes. Uh, I guess. Don't really need it, but it doesn't hurt. Oh, okay, this guy. So he links, yeah. Now we have to kill these. Ah, damn. A little too late on that. Is he linked to someone else? Who else is he linked to? This guy. Here we go. Ah, lost my shield right at the end, because I, like, went outside of the spinning circle. Yeah, those guys are really not bad, but if there's, like, multiple of them or other harder enemies that they link to, that could end up being a problem. If they, like, link to samurai or something like that. Come on, we have to have an ambush. Oh! This guy's new. Oh! He's teleporting. He does a lot of damage. Doesn't seem too bad, though. Harvester, a warden that drowns in the bile of their master, undergoes... what? A warden that drowns in the bile of their master undergoes a series of violent mutations due to their repressed arcane strength. This insane creature is the embodiment of its master... Masters, without an apostrophe, lust for control, and no longer has a mind of its own. And yet they get this right. Just a typo, I guess. The constant waves of explosive energy strains them. Use this to our advantage. So just, they leave themselves open a lot. Reduce damage. Sling penetrates the harvester's waves. I didn't realize it didn't. And what's this? Champion of Sloth. Legionnaires desperate to gain even the slightest arcane power consume the worthless wastes of skin, trying to exploit the morsels of forbidden knowledge stored within them. A self-destructive practice. Be aware of their uncontrolled attributes of ill-gotten power. Wait, no. Outbursts. Especially in death. Well, it doesn't seem... Champion of Sloth no longer spawn additional creatures on death. Is it creatures? It's just a snail. Seems pretty consistently just a snail. So now we're just back here. Or slug, I suppose. Yeah, these are a little tedious when, like, they're not really dangerous in any way. They just take a while to kill. Even with this, like, buff to damage. I guess we could just ignore them, but they're souls. And I'm nearing a level up. Shortcut door, I assume. Oh, hello. Can you shoot when you're inside this? I don't know. I hope not. Yep, 
Yeah, lots of pots in this area compared to the garden. Oh, that's it? Huh. And that's closed. All right. I don't know why there's a, an exclamation mark here. Did I miss something? And this is just blocked off. But I guess we'll go in here. Anything I haven't done? Yeah, in this one. Uh, I can't, like, go onto these, can I? Oh, we just haven't gone here? How much do I get for these? Not a lot. So yeah, they kind of aren't worth the trouble, but I guess when they're blocking my path, I kind of have to kill them. Oh man. So many of these. Oh, that doesn't work. Yeah, I'm getting a little sick of the sludge with slugs. Jesus. Oh my god. They can just, like, perfectly stagger their attacks. That didn't count as a... Oh, that doesn't count as a dash attack. Because I'm doing the thing, like, after the slam. So that doesn't actually give you the... the shield. That's too bad. And then we had another harvester down here, I think. Good thing I didn't aggro him. Oh, one of these. Oh, he was, like, supposed to link to them. And now didn't, because I killed him. So that was what I said. Like, oh, it would be bad if he would link to to some samurai. And I just stopped him from doing that. I should have uh, shielded. So that was kind of convenient. Oh, there we go. One more level. And I guess I'll do this. And I think I just want another flask. Let's take that. And then we'll go back to sword from now on. Ah. Keep wanting to get my shield, and I keep failing. Oh, don't heal right here. It's like they can't see me when I'm behind just thorns. How many levels in this game? Uh, do you mean like level ups or just levels in the game. In the game, we are on 
like essentially level there's a tutorial level and then this is the third level after that like tutorial level and then level one and two and three and you can do two and three in either order and as far as i can tell after that it's just like one final level or maybe just a final boss we'll have to see so yeah this might be the final level or it might be the second to last Ambush. Ambushed by healing. Oh, I should have healed first. Now what? So that didn't really lead anywhere. Unless I was supposed to drop down here? Was that anything? Not like Hades. Yeah, it's it's not like it's not a roguelike like Hades. It's more of an action RPG sort of thing. I mean, in terms of progression, it's pretty similar to Dark Souls, even though I don't think, like, the moment-to-moment -moment gameplay isn't quite like Dark Souls. Wait, is this... this isn't new, right? We've done this one. Yeah. So where do I go now, then? This is new? Oh. God damn it. It's always that second volley. Here we go. But that was it. Okay. I don't think I could go here, right? This was a one-way door? This was a one-way thorn thing that I couldn't destroy? So what do we do? It seems like we have to activate the elevator again somehow, but I'm not sure how. Yeah, getting three healing flasks feels like a pretty big buff. Oh, this is new. It's nice that you can do that shield pretty fast. Oh. There's gonna be one of those bishop dudes, right? Oh god, what am I doing? <laughs> I hesitated because I, I thought, oh shit, it's turning, I should go off here instead of here. Well, now we wait. I can have some tea. Calculated. And more. Yeah, this game clearly needs less gameplay, specifically for me. It's just so inconvenient. This whirlwind thing is really good. Ah, took my shield right when I killed him, and I should have healed faster as so I got more of that. So what was this thing again? 
Spear attack, yeah. A wee spear. That was it? Did we just come here for a tiny, tiny little boost? I guess so. It was just a bonus area. Oh, Jesus, I almost made the same mistake again. Tea time. I guess. I'm gonna miss my ride again. No? Okay. Did I miss it? Does this game have multiple difficulties? Not as far as I know. Did it? I can't quite remember. You would have to check part one when I like started the game. I'm pretty sure it only has one difficulty. Maybe once you beat it or something, there's a new game plus or something. No clue. So now what? These are the only two places we can go, but I don't think I could go either way. And there's this thing, but that didn't seem to be anything I could activate. Kind of seems like we have to get around here and get to, like, a control room that will then activate the elevator again. Something like that. So yeah, here? Just thorns. Can't go through. Nothing. Yeah. And then up here was just a closed door, right? Unless I opened that from some somewhere else and didn't realize. Oh. Did I just not go here? Or was this closed? I don't remember. Well, this is kind of a waste. I already... I still have my uh, extra life. Too bad we can't stack them up and get two. This looks fun. Nothing a little spin to win won't solve. Okay, that doesn't work. I mean, I can't, like, lure them up here. Yeah, let's not aggro the, the boss dude, mini boss. That works. Ah, just a little more. Maybe from the other side? Oh, there is no other side. Oh, I see that guy. Hold on, let's check. Stray servants. No, it was this one. Enthralled servants. Okay. Just gonna get some damage in before he can, like, link. Yeah, pretty good. I know you're here. Hey, guy. <laughs> there you go. Okay, this might be a bit more of an issue. Damn it, I don't want to hit him. There we go. And then we just run past. Nice. Mm, 
Neat. Oh, another one. Arcane Warden. Reduce damage. And time for slugs. I'm surprised there hasn't been any ambushes by, like, purple sword dudes. They just kind of... kind of disappeared. There was one group of them. The shield you're using- oh! Speaking of! <laughs> the shield I'm using seems very powerful. It, like, blocks one hit and ow. One hit only. And if you dash kill an enemy, you get the shield back. Damn it. So I can do, like, this and get the shield. And it'll block one hit. But yeah, without the shield, you die very, very quickly. It's like just a couple hits and you're dead. Okay. This is definitely going to have the bishop dudes. As we ride on that. And this was just a way back. Yeah. No! Ah, oh, damn it, missed. They're very slow otherwise. Yeah, they just kind of ambush you. Otherwise, they're not too bad. Oh, like that. Alright, good. Yeah, I knew there would be one of these guys. Whoa, what happened? Ricochet. You, like, sent some stuff back, I guess? Oh, you meant this shield, maybe? Yeah, the, like, whirlwind, whirlwind shield is extremely useful. Free shield, I'll take it. And now I think we activate the lift again. Oh, what? Oh, he didn't link for a second. block normal attacks or just projectiles. This one only blocks projectiles. So they can, like, walk into it and slap me. But it does seem like even if they're standing in it and they shoot projectiles, they still get blocked. So it basically, like, completely nullifies projectiles. Hello! Aim for the thorns. Oh, Jesus. 
That's a big combo. Uh, wait, now what? Do I teleport across here? Oh, here we go. Wait, hold on, let me heal first. Nice. Oh, fancy. And now this is a shortcut. All right, nice. Oh, hello. Yeah, like that. Still took damage in the shield. Hi again. Yeah, these are not too bad at all. The, like, big enemies in the gardens were definitely a lot worse than all the enemies we've seen here so far. I don't think he can, like, link to anyone because the ambush dudes haven't shown up yet, so he's kind of, like, blowing their cover. Ow. Jesus. Let's run away a sec. No? This guy's coming. The other guy just gave up. Well, I'll heal again then. What? He just, like, ran away? Just went home? I was lucky. Wasting my heal, uh, shield. Oh, okay. Well, we have more places to go. Damn it. Wasn't there another place? Yeah, here as well? Let me just check that. In this way? Little too much thorn clearing. Yeah, this just keeps going. Great! 
Glad I uh, clear, cleared this out. Cleaned up the place a little bit. And it keeps going. Secret wall incoming. Bit busy right now, healing thing. Don't even really need it. Oh yeah, I should have like tried to dash. Oh yeah, I did. Yeah, exactly. Dash into it to get the shield back because it counts as an enemy. So it does keep going here, but there's also a secret wall down there. Okay, <laughs> this is really, really quite tedious. Uh-oh. I'm just gonna lead this guy all the way back here. What are you doing? Was that just him being, like, tired after doing the wave attack once? Oh. And harvester damage reduced. We've almost seen everything. So yeah, I guess this is confirmed. This is the last level. There's going to be one more, like, enemy type here, probably. And then one boss. And then we have, like, the final boss. So there probably won't be a final area. Or if there is, it'll be, like, just using the enemies that we already know. Oh, boy. Quickly kill these off. There we go. More secret walls. Oh, and level up. Let's get sword damage. Though I am kind of using the sling a lot. But let's at least get one more sword. Yeah, maybe, maybe one more sword. Get this one. I'm kind of forgetting to use the spear, but at the same time, I don't feel like I need to use it. And then we'll focus on this one first to get the final Ambrosia charge. Honestly, do I even want this? Maybe I just want to put one more sword level and then get another healing flask. That might be... might be more useful. That seems pretty good. I wonder if that means, like, if you kill the ones that he's, uh... He's, like, linked to, it just kills him entirely? Alright, so this whole thing seems to just be a giant bonus area. And we have this as well. Oh boy. Oh god. <laughs> it's kind of a tight jump. And we have to like jump across these, I guess. I'm just gonna not do that to begin with. And just see where we go here. Do I just... Oh, I just fall down and die. Well, great. Alright. Fair enough. Or not. I guess I live here now. Okay. Doesn't even do that much damage. What do you mean? Then where do I go? How could I, like, jump 
to anywhere else. Huh? So we don't go over here? Ah, that was just a bait. Jesus. I don't know. Maybe I should go up here. <laughs> this is just kind of trial and error. It's not like you can know which way is going to be the correct way. Doesn't even show up on the map. This was wrong. Oh, no, it was right. But I kind of want to check up there as well. You never know. That doesn't seem to do anything. I, I guess it's because I killed him. It just seems to lag the game, that attack. That sounded like a, a wall. Ow, Jesus. I guess it does do damage, yeah. Oh, that's bad. Don't heal here. Forgot about the slug. Hello. Ow. Yeah, that- oh god, that does so much damage. That's the combo that gets me every time. Trolled by devs, yeah, that was just kind of trial and error trolling. And this was all for some bonus points. But then I thought I heard another secret wall down here. No? I guess that was just the music. But then I guess we have to drop down, yeah. But I, I want to check over here again. It's probably nothing, but let's see. We can't activate that. So where am I now? I'm back here. Despite this music just being like five notes over and over and over, I oddly find myself not really that bored of it. It just kind of like drones on, but... It's not bad. It's a bit reminiscent of like, uh... Who's that again? Jason's theme? Oh, shit. So let's just see what happens here. Yeah, okay, It we can see it from here. No! No, we can't! Okay, good thing I checked. There was a secret within the secret. And another teleport. It wasn't just a secret, this is like the way we're supposed to go. Alright, let's see if I can like quickly fetch some pots. Oh! No, it is a secret within a secret. Okay. I feel like there's going to be combat here, and I'm not in the best shape. Or... No, I guess that was just a secret. Ah. Yeah, it was just a couple more points, and then you can teleport back. Alright, well. Good thing I checked. But then now, there was also another place. If we go up here, and then down again. And not this way. Do you lose anything if you die? Yeah, it's kind of a Dark Souls bloodstain system. You lose all of these, the power that you've collected, and then you have to get back to the same area and, like, hit it so you can get it back. And if you die again, then you lose all the experience. But generally speaking, it hasn't been too bad. So yeah, going down here is new. Oh, great! All right, now we go back. Uh, 
Uh oh. I want to kite these back back a little bit. I really want this. Please give me. And then heal. Nice. Okay. Slightly better shape now. That feature is very nice as well, showing enemies through walls. Except, I just realized they didn't do that on the guy that was hidden behind the bookshelf. He was just like a sneaky, sneaky asshole. But you could see him from above. Damn it. This looks like a secret. Uh oh. Damn it, missed. Missed again. I keep missing. All right, that takes care of that guy. Didn't know he could do that. Damn. Here we go. Yeah, it's that three hit combo that's like the one attack they have that's kind of tricky. Everything else is very slow. Alright, so what's going on down here? Uh... I guess I can just drop down? Let me check. Let me wait. Or is it just that? Maybe I die if I fall down. No! Oh no, I'm just back! Oh crap! Oh, I should not have done that. <laughs> I thought this was a new area. Oh boy. Time to walk back a long, long way. A fate worse than death. Backtracking. I guess it's not actually that far since we unlocked this shortcut door. Can't wait to get that sludge speed thing. Which one was that? This one. Yeah. We need more of these. I feel like at this rate I'm gonna be done with a level before we get that upgrade. Oh, hello. Already killed your, like, attendants. Nice, and now we're all maxed out again. And now we activate the elevator again. I guess that's floor two complete. There is three more, so... Oh, Jesus. Okay. Did that just burn away all of the, like, stuff? All the thorns, maybe? Yeah, it just seems to be level by level, unlike the other levels, where you go up and down constantly and find different paths. I feel like I'm pretty done with this place. 52% so far. Uh, I guess? Don't see why not. 
this time do we get combat elevator? Deep maintenance. No combat. Only one path to go. Okay, so we can go here. Oh, and a teleport. Let's activate the teleport first before I try to like walk through an instant kill field. Okay, it's just locked. Yeah, I guess maybe that's kind of all we can do tonight. This is a long level. We we'll probably need another stream for it. So I should end it off pretty soon. Well, pretty now, basically. What the hell? What's this? Okay. I knew it. But I like these guys. I want to kill more of them so we can uh, get faster. Ow. Oh. That's the first one. But now I want this one. So we need quite a few more. More. Nice. A lot of them. Ow! Shouldn't really heal like that, no. But we should be able to get the shield back, so didn't really do any harm. So, like, that was four of them. Looks like we need quite a few. Like, probably another 10, 15, maybe it's 20 or something. Didn't really want to hit that guy, but oh well. So, seven, and we're about a third, yeah. Seems like 20. Over to go here. Quickly. But this is a choice. We can go... This one is gonna go off here. Yeah. I think this just leads back where we were, does it? Yeah. Okay. I mean, let's, let's leave it off there then. We're right at the teleport. We know where to go now, and yeah, hopefully we can get that upgrade. So, it's a, as good a time to end it as any. But yeah, I like this level a lot. It's a little too much sludge and like hitting thorns and stuff. A little too dull, but the atmosphere is really nice. The visuals are nice. Honestly, so far, it al almost feels a little too easy, like compared to the gardens. The gardens felt more like challenging, but fair. This feels pretty easy overall compared to like the first level which honestly had some pretty difficult difficult moments all the relaxing atmosphere yeah it's like it's both eerie but also kind of relaxing and like yeah, it's it's a pretty chill game i like it so thanks for watching hope you enjoyed should be more streams tomorrow i think but probably not this we'll probably save this for another weekend good night